The film starts at a time clock running down and showing that it's in his hand, waking up to a house then holding his head while staring outside. This is his mom saying he got late last night. He did overtime and bought her a wine for her 50th birthday while only 25th. They are struggling with finance. They are poor or average family but who cares, everyone dies in this game of life. They share time through this handshake giving someone time and getting some from her. Time is currency in this industry and now he is going to work. A kid ask Will if he got a minute and now Will is somehow generous, he doesn't have any but he is willing to give for her. Then he runs to his work and now see that the coffee is higher priced than yesterday, inflation is really like this yeah? It shows someone gambling and dies every day in this industry. Broad day light they die. He got his salary but it's not what he is expecting, they are saying quota is never met. Now he goes to a bar to meet his friends from gambling. Apparently, he is good in gambling and all. His friend told him that that guy has been buying everyone's drink all night, he got a century in his arm meaning he is rich like a billionaire in our planet and he is just showing it to everyone. Now Will goes to the billionaire and told him to be careful as showing that kind of currency in public while in slums will get him in trouble. They will take his life out of him. Now Minuteman goes in the club. Name is Portis. He said that the guy has a very nice watch and wants to try it on his arm. A very nice line for someone saying I want what's yours now give it to me. He is an old man turning 75 last week but looks like 25 as everyone does stops aging when they got 25 and continue living for the rest of their lives with that look. He vomited like crazy and will runs with him outside. He is saving him from the Minutemen. They sneak into a building and rest for the night. Now Will and the billionaire sits and talk about what happened, he wants that thrill in his life. He is tired of his life as they all say. Money can make you happy in the long run but it can be much more valuable than being poor. He is tires of his boring rich life. What a life right? Will is 28th in real time while the billionaire is 105th in real time, makes sense he wants to die as in his perspective. He did everything he can and now he can't die. He just wants to die. For a few to be immortal many has to die. Then he disclosed to Will what is really happening in this industry. The truth is, there's more than enough. No one has to die before their time. He asked him, if have the time he has, what would he do to it? He said, I'd stop watching it. Morning comes, he looked at Will and gave him his time carefully so Will won't be awake. Now Will wakes up and see his time is up to billions now. He is a billionaire now. He looks at the window and see the billionaire with a message, don't waste my time, he is jumping now at the bridge knowing it's his last time of his life. What would you do to it? Time closes up, he dies. Will looked at him and see a camera and now he is a fugitive. Will goes up to his friend Beryl and talk to him and tell him he got all that money from the billionaire at the bar. He gave him 10 years because they've been friends for 10 years. What a friend right? Now his mother is going home from the bank assuming she left her time at the bank and all she knows is that it's been one hour for every ride but now it's two hours and she can't do it as she only have one and a half hour. Now she got to run and try to go to his house and see his son without dying. 21 minutes till she die and Will is waiting at the bus stop for her. But as his surprise her mom is not there and now he realized that she is possibly running and he needs to make the ends meet. My heart is about to cry at this moment. Heart chills everything hurts now. I miss my mom. Every time I watch this, my heart explode and I'm about to cry again. They see each other and now they just have to make a handshake for it. But they didn't. Wait I will just cry for like 30 seconds. Oh wait, we don't have 30 seconds to spare. Going back to the story. Now imagine yourself getting the life you always wanted and telling your mom for it and telling you won't be poor again and make yourself great as we all know. Then your mom dies. It's the end. You got something and you lose something. Isn't that the way of life? We can't always be happy. Now this is getting darker. Let me go back to the movie. Peaky Blinders main character is a police in this movie and they see the corpse. He has been doing this for 50 years now. A veteran police who knows anything at the game. Will gets an Uber and goes to the farthest place in the zone. The zone goes up to time zone 12. He will go to the place where money is nothing. In order to go to New Greenwich, he spent one year just for the toll. Now he's in the Greenwich and amazed. He runs just like what he does in the slums. Now that he is rich, he decided to walk and enjoy the time of his life. He wakes up and tries to understand his situation but it's really way different than what it used to. He tipped that crew so much. The waitress realized that he is not from here because he does everything so fast. He said, not everything, with a cheeky tone of voice. Now he is known to the police. Will Salas is the name. 
Will goes to a club and pay one year for membership, voluntarily. He goes to a poker table where there is no limit and meet the man of the industry. Let's call him Mr. President. He blabs around about how the world works and its survival of the fittest. Well that's just true in the real world. Game getting interesting. He bet two centuries to know if Will can bet his whole life for the said game. Just like Darwinian's capitals. Will goes to bet everything. Knowing it will take his whole life. He wins 15 figures and now Mr. President realized he is part of the game now. Sylvia invited him to party to make time for the party of the billionaires. He is part of it now. Time to make some more doughs. No more, no less. He goes out to buy some car, 59 years plus tax. Imagine the life servings where the time of money a normal people needs to serve time to buy that car. Imagine the analogy and the way how time currency works. This is getting deeper and deep. Down the rabbit hole. Sylvia and will not get to know each other. Flirt in a way. They dance so they can get acquainted. Ask things they should not ask to each other. Sylvia said that life is not good or time is not good for everyone. Poor dies because of time and the rich don't get to live the life they want as they become foolish and can't risk the life they already have. What a life right? They go to a beach just at the back of their house. Swim naked. To live the life Sylvia always wanted. They get to be human in that time. Now it's time to end their way. Police came to the house and realized Will is in trouble. They took him so they can question him but Will is so smart to be taken away like this. He told them about what happened but of course it's nothing and it doesn't matter. Now Peaky Blinder main character here is the Papa of the century. The Papa talks about Will's father and how he knows about him and he talks like him too. Now Will goes out and kidnapped Sylvia and get out of the house, he get in his car and took her out of the place. Easy peasy. By Greenwich. Hello ghetto area. Papa chases Will and Sylvia hoping they can outrun the Popo. As the chase continues Will and Sylvia got away. They go somewhere where no one can find them. They got into an accident and then Minutemen goes and saw them and got all Sylvia's time now they only got 32 minutes to get them arranged. Will goes to Beryl to check if he can help them. But Beryl is dead now because he drunk himself dead with 9 years of his clock. They only got 2 minutes now. They will die if they don't do anything now. They run like crazy, hoping for a pawn shop to come. Real diamonds come in handy. Now they need to come to his father to get more time for ransom. 1000 years for his daughter. Now they get to sleep somewhere. Now back to flirting. It's nobody's fault what they born with. A masterpiece quote from this movie. Now Sylvia is turning into his father and making himself part of Will. And then they kiss. Hottest couple ever made. Sylvia put a bullet in that papa and uses his car. Will even gave the papa some time and now this is a mess. They are driving a cop car and now they are making an arrest. Sylvia fired the gun again and took the car and money of the said client. Now they see themselves at the news. Sylvia is not woke at how to live their lives. Now is the time to take money from his father. The duo now realizes they can do it themselves and got into the nearest bank to claim money and zones are riskier than ever now. Now Mr. Weiss trying to buy the police but he is as honest as a raccoon. They start robbing banks and giving everything to other people just like Robin Hood. Everyone gather and got some for themselves. Happiest time of their lives. Joke came with the bank robbery. One cop says, Must have thought it was a drop through. Gave me a smile and threw my drink. That guy came out of nowhere. Now Dayton has lots of reserve time giving out everyone. They see the market now as everyone has money for themselves. They see Sylvia as part of the crime now. They are playing strip poker now. Holy macaroni. But of course, cops came just when they will do it. Like duh, one minute more wouldn't hurt. Popo chases them, get themselves up. But Peaky Blinder main character won't let them go. They got away and now they will book all the rooms in the hotel. They need some discretion so a money gave away is good. Now Minutemen wanna finds them and got themselves involve again in the situation. Now someone saw them going to a hotel and told the Minutemen where they are. Now it's time for them to get to where Will and Sylvia is. They are looking forward to what they can do now that they are fugitive and all. Minutemen shows up, time for courage to step in. They will fight for their time. Gambling of life is what I called it. He killed all of them in a flash. Now other cops realize that Will Salas is doing this out of his kindness. They see that there's no other way to win but to surrender. Sylvia goes to her company. Now she see there's too many guards now but Will Salas is at the back and they can't do anything about it. They go to the secret vault that only Weiss's family knows. Time to conclude this movie, I think that's what the director wants to say. 
They opened a vault where they see a time storage that has one million years. Now Mr. Weiss now said, you can upset the balance for a generation or two, but nothing will change as nothing changed forever. For a few to be immortal many must die. But Will said, no one should be immortal if someone has to die. They are going out now. Peaky Blinder now wants to see them, so they look for the slowest car because they want need to hurry. There's a trap now as one million years could leave the zone so they shoot on sight but the car is bulletproof. The Dayton is waiting for Salas to come and give out to many time in the ghetto. Everyone is waiting. Cop crashed the car of Will Salas and Sylvia Weiss. It's time to be Chase and be the greater character in this movie. A million years is being given to everyone. Now what will they do? They chase and chase. Now they got caught. Now Will knows that Peaky Blinder is from the ghetto, to make sure no one else does. He keep it running and keep time. But then he realize he didn't even give time to himself. He died in front of them without knowing it will be his last. Now they got a minute to do this. They kissed, and realize there's time to the keeper's car and they run and try to do this. Keep running mate, or else Sylvia will be like your mom. Do it. It's time to make it. Of course they did, no movie would have done that kind of ending. Funny right? Let's go. The title of the movie is, In Time, one of the greatest movie ever made that we can compare to the real life. We hope that this will have chapter 2 but I think they can't do anything now as what is next to this. Thanks for watching our video. As we wrap things up, we want to say a big thank you for being a part of our awesome community. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our future adventures.